Good evening, everyone. The Indiana State Fair opens its gates tomorrow with the Midway taking its first riders at noon. Yeah, the opening comes in the shadow of that tragedy at the Ohio State Fair. An 18 year old man died when a section of the seats on the fireball uh, broke apart in midair. Seven other people were injured, four in serious or critical condition today. In response, the Indiana State Fair has announced it will not use the fireball. And today, inspections are underway on all of the rides. Our 24 hour news 8's Brenna Donnelly is live at the fairgrounds this evening. Brenna. That's right, guys. The Indiana Department of Homeland Security has dispatched 14 investigators to put their hands on each and every ride here with extra diligence after the disaster in Ohio. Will they take a little closer look? Probably, uh, but, but they're taking this to a very high level anyway. John Erickson and his team spread out across the State Fair Midway. Yeah, I look at all those uh, carrier pins, okay. It's the day before opening day, assembly, setup, cleaning, and inspection day. With the North American Midway representative and a ride operator, inspectors are getting to work. The team of 14 inspectors will spend the next two days securing bolts and checking safety restraints to make sure all 50 Indiana State Fair rides are clear. Uh, they look mechanically. Uh, they look at all components. Uh, they will check each seat on the ride to make sure that there's no sharp edges. They make sure the lap belts are appropriate. He says all rides will be inspected by opening hour, but his crew won't just call it a day. At least one will stay on duty every hour of the fair. And that's so if there's if there's an issue, uh, we can take care of it quickly. If there's a complaint, we'll come look at it as quickly as possible. We want to be here as a resource uh, to handle things in an expedient manner. He says he understands the public's concern for safety and assured us he trusts his crew and the codes. I will tell you this, we're going to bring our kids to the state fair. If they want to ride these rides, we're going to allow them to ride them. I know the people who do these inspections, and I know that they work very hard at their jobs. And the rule, if you see something, say something applies here as well. Erickson said if you see an inattentive ride operator or notice a loose seat or a loose lap belt to let an employee know, you can also call a hotline. That number is over on wishtv.com. Reporting live for the fairgrounds, Brenna Donnelly, 24-hour News 8. Hey, Brenna, uh, I'm going to admit I'm a parent and the rides concern me a little bit after the recent news. Did inspectors offer any advice for parents who are a little unsure about this? You know what they did? They recognized that there might be some uneasiness about it. They said parents should really make the choice for their children. Decide if your child is maybe mature enough to ride on the ride. Do they know how to get on and off? Can they stay seated the whole time? And if the child is able to do that, they should ride. But if they can't, they probably shouldn't, even if they're tall enough. Yeah, just go with your gut at the end of the day, I guess.